what is color keying why is it important and how to practice it i'm going to answer these questions in this video and stick to learn for some bonus content where i discuss about how light works in real life condition so this is lack share from lack artworks and let's get started so what is color keying it is a process used in animation and concept art industry to establish the feel and look of overall color of the project to put it simply this is used to set the mood of the scene uh, using different color combinations and different lighting setting this is an exploration stage so you don't have to worry about creating the artwork in detailed manner or like you don't have to create an really amazing artwork it is more about uh, exploring different lighting conditions and color combinations and uh, to and to check whether it expresses the feel that you're going for so in this i am going to paint the same scene four times uh, and explore different color combinations i'm not sure about it either so this is going to be fun for me for the first image i'm going to overexpose the background and make the character darker it is more like painting the character in shadows as a beginner people tend to make this very common mistake i have seen it in my students like uh, whenever they paint shadows they think like they have to be black or like really dark but that's not how a shadow works in real life you know why this is because there are different aspects of light that takes place in a scene and the light is a really huge topic to discuss about in the short video so i'll try to keep it really short there are two light sources which affects the scene one is the source light which gives shadows to the object and there is the ambient light which gives light to the shadows so just don't paint the shadows black anymore and try to keep it bit darker than the base color that will be more than fine here i'll give one more cool tip for you when the light is cooler the shadows will be warmer and when the light is warmer the shadows will be cooler they are actually vice versa it's a really nice trick to play around with and you can add different colors to your shadows you can clearly see i am adding red colors to my shadows it's all about having fun just this is the exercise about having fun and exploring new stuff just don't feel shy about it for the second image i am thinking of exploring a different lighting condition like a morning or a evening lighting situation during this time the sun will be at its horizon and the shadows will be really long and if you observe it carefully the world around you will be vibrant during morning and evening lighting situations so i am going to explore it so see how it's going to turn up in the meantime i am going to explain why doing key lighting is important let's see an example from a really famous movie up in this scene they got married and they are happy about it this you can understand from the colors they used and they are vibrant they are bright they are warm but in this next scene you can see like he is sad about his lost wife and he is thinking about the past the colors they used here are muted desaturated and uh, the light is bit dull you can clearly differentiate the mood and feel of both scenes one uh, one portrait is the happiness and one portrait is the sadness using the same person but using different lighting conditions this is where color keying comes into play here we try out different color combinations and different lighting situations to portray different feel and mood of a scene do you know a fun fact like it takes 24 hours to render a single frame of pixar movie and if you know there are 24 frames every single second and uh, if you calculate it for like 100 minutes of a movie it takes around 400 years to render completely uh, but fortunately they have like really fast super computer in their rendering system so even then it takes around 2 years to complete a movie once again we are back to the video and i am almost done with the second image this is almost done normally i don't detail it this much because uh, it's not about detailing it it's all about getting the feel right and the getting the uh, color light and even if the image turns out bad don't feel bad about it because it's an exercise you are going to explore when you're exploring something turns out good something turn out turns out bad but you don't have to worry about it just move forward uh, for your information these sketches took me around like 15 to 20 minutes max so even if it turns out bad i'll just ignore it i'll even scrap it i don't even worry about it because it's still an exercise and it's a thing about having fun so just be chill don't get stressed out when doing this exercise just have one thing in mind have fun have fun have fun for the third image i am thinking of a different color scheme it's not a natural color scheme but i want to um, explore it a bit like i want to make it dark at the same time i don't want it to be black i want to make it colorful 
colorful dark actually <laughs> i can put it that way so it's more like a moonlit scene where the character is lit by moonlight and there is the ambient light okay that's it uh, i don't know in the further process i think like it's it turned out to be a, rain, a rainy scene if you compare the back wall of these three images they are almost different like uh, those colors doesn't match for the first scene it's something like a grayish green and the second scene it's like green but it has like blue shade and uh, reddish tone for the third scene it's completely different it has like blue color at the same time it's red <laughs> yeah i like to play with colors a lot i like to um, mess it up i want to mess around a lot i like to learn something new i want to explore something so i don't worry about it i suggest the same for you i don't know in half i thought like i'll turn it into something like a rainy scene i'm not sure whether it turned out good but i like the color in it the reflections i was cool about it so i left it uh, even this is this scene is going to be a night scene and it's going to light uh, lit by a moonlight but i figured out like i have never turned on the street light in any of the pictures so i turned it on here okay when compared to sunlight street light has a really short fall off distance first fall off distance is a distance a light from a source can travel before losing its intensity completely if you see properly the street light has a fall off distance of around 50 meters or like 60 maybe and sun has like millions of millions of kilometers okay so the street light barely touches the monster and as the moonlight is diffused by clouds it doesn't produce any harsh shadows at the same time the lamp the street light the street light produces a cooler shadows for the monster okay now we'll talk about how to create this color keying properly to do so you have to paint only in like thumbnail size sketch because it's only about the feel and not about the details okay keep that in mind always and uh, try to use the brush as big as possible so it will avoid you from doing doing detailing okay and you don't have to detail it this much it's almost like rendered image if you see it so you don't have to go this far just try to bring in the feel that you wish for and that's it then leave it try to explore something different and remember this none of this painting should take more than 25 minutes to complete okay so try to work as fast as possible and uh, as less detailed as possible and explore something more you don't have to stick with only four images you can do 6 8 12 as much as you want but try to be fast and quick as possible and one final and important advice for you always find an excuse to go out and do some live sketches every now and then it helps you improve your uh, coloring knowledge and skill that's it for this video and i hope you learned something from this if you like this video click on the like and subscribe button and if you find it useful share it with your friends Meet you in the next video. Bye.